In this video, I'm going to be explaining what rubrics are, as well as how to create them inside of Google Classroom. Hey guys, welcome back to Google Tutorials, where we give you the best tips and tricks to grow your confidence online. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so that you're the first to get notified every time we launch a brand new video. Also, if you haven't watched the Google Classroom for Teachers playlist, where we cover everything that you need to know from start to finish inside of Google Classroom to make it much easier for you as a teacher, click or tap the iCard in the top right of your screen or check out the link in the description box below. Using rubrics inside of your Google Classroom is a great tool to use when marking assessments or homeworks, since it makes marking a lot easier for you, since you're just ticking or crossing boxes, and it also benefits the students quite a lot, since it enables them to discover what they need to improve on, revise, and what they struggle with. To do this, what you want to do is head on into Classwork on your Google Classroom, and either create a brand new assignment or go into a pre-existing one. If you don't know how to create an assignment inside of Google Classroom, we've got a tutorial on that, so click or tap the iCard in the top right of your screen, or check out the link in the description box below. Once you've created your assignment, if you go to the bottom right, there's this section called Rubik, and we want to create a brand new one. And the main section we want to focus on is this box here, which starts with Criterion Title. Basically, you just want to title what the criteria is in order for the student to get these points. For example, do they need to know or understand binary in computer science, or do they need to have a deeper understanding or analysis of paragraphs in English or media? Underneath this, you've got Criterion Description. This basically is the section where you'd add the criteria, the mark scheme, or what the section is about, and how the students can receive certain grades or marks. Next, if you scroll down, you'll see this box, starting off with the points section. Points is just how many points would be worth or awarded to student if they receive this level. Um, basically, how much would this be worth in your test or assessment? Following this, you've got level title. You don't need to put this in, but if you wanted to, you could put your own grading system. For example, you could have an intermediate understanding, beginner understanding, or a high level understanding inside of this box. Or you could even put your red, amber, green inside of there, your own school's grading system, or even a GCSE grade in there. For example, a GCSE level one. And the final thing to add in this box is the description. So what is the criteria in order for the student to receive that level or those that amount of points? What is there to improve or revise in order to get the next one up if necessary? And much more. But what if you want to add more of these? For example, you want to add more levels between them. To do this, all you want to do is add, click the add icon next to it. And then you just fill out all of these sections again, just creating a different level for the students to try and aim for. So that's how you create the basics of a rubric. But what if you want to add multiple of these criteria? for example, if you're doing this for an assessment in class to find out what the students struggle with? To add another criteria inside of this rubric, all you need to do is click the Add Criterion button at the bottom left. Now we'll create a blank version of the box we've just filled in, and you'd be able to use the same point system that we've just created. And once you've finished creating your rubrics, all you need to do is click save at the top right. Now, as you can see at the bottom right, my rubric has been created with the quantity of criteria and the number of points available. And now you're ready to assign this to your class. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to mark your rubrics. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe as we've got a ton more content just like this, and I'll see you soon.